Hey everyone, this is Anura Gray from PestTumorBodyArt.com and in this video we will talk about why dogs bark at night. Now before you continue this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button notification bell so that you can receive updates about my videos when it's uploaded and also help my channel grow. Now dogs howl at night because of few, or bark at night because of few reasons. There are few reasons for why dogs does it. Now, the number one reason I would like to say is when they feel lonely. So during the daytime there are a lot of people on the streets. They usually see lots of people and they don't feel lonely. But when during the night time they feel lonely. So that, that is the reason why the dog starts barking at night so that uh, it can inform other people that they are feeling lonely however uh, we don't really understand what they are trying to convey us uh, con convey what kind of message they are going to uh, what they are trying to tell us so that's why we don't really sympathize with what they are uh, doing along with that we sometimes also get annoyed the second reason why dogs barks at night is because to um, let their companion know let the other dogs know the, where they are and they use a special type of barking to communicate and know each other location and also that they communicate in a certain way that's allow them to understand what's going on over in that place now if you have seen before that uh, if a dog starts barking towards a person there has a different kind of barking however when they are barking in a specific specific way uh, this is more like a howl and they communicate and the other dogs from the other side also starts doing that same kind of howl so they usually communicate in that way much like the wolf and so and and that's because they are also the kind of descendants of the wolf so that's the reason why they have this kind of tendencies now uh, if there are lots of uh, dogs in the special area then they also will co co consider barking in in a very specific and synchronized way one after the another so if you have noticed that if a dog starts barking in up towards the person the, you will see that the other dogs from the nearby areas nearby place also starts barking and they come towards the uh, person to and starts barking together it's because they have a specific style type of barking that they use to communicate a specific type of message so they use that to communicate with each other it's a really important thing for them because they cannot talk like us so they use the barking in order to communicate with each other the number three reason is that sometimes dogs also barks because the most obvious reason is they see something that is they don't are is not completely uh, habituated with that in that area for example if they see a thief they will start barking and that barking will have a different kind of tone because that barking will more more like a uh, warning sign so it will you will be able to identify if the dog barks too loudly and not smile like a howl more like a barking then the dog will you will be able to identify that there may not be something going on over that place if the dog is barking for few hours or few let's say for 30 minutes you might think that there can be something going on in that place because they will running around and they will start barking in that way is because uh, if they see a thief their barking will be completely different from when they're communicating with each other so that's the reason why uh, if we, we should be able to identify why this the dog is barking for either they communicating with other dogs or are they trying to spot something the number four reason the fourth reason is that there there can be other dogs in the nearby areas especially this is occurs during the mating season and those dogs can be threatening toward that dog so they can be like aggressive they can try to attack that dog and while they see each other they will start barking working towards each other so if there are lots of dogs in the nearby places let's say there are few male dogs and there is let's say two female dogs and let's say the male dogs comes into her territory then they will start having some clash they can have if the um, female dog doesn't like the male dog and if they are not going into that mating, mating ritual then they can start barking and can also start a fight so that can also happen and if also if another female dog enter the another female dog's area then they can also start fighting first it will start with a bark so to warn the other dog if the dog just goes away moves away from that place then they won't attack it but if the dog doesn't move away uh, the dog that has entered the territory then there will be a fight and they will chase them away from that area like any other animal dogs are also have their own territory they also have their own area so they don't like intervention from other people in those kind of places but if that happens they will let them or even they can do that to the person and also that to the dog or and other animals to let them know that uh, that is their territory and you are not allowed to enter that it cannot do anything suspicious and they may not even like the smell of that dog or person because they will react immediately if they smell something unfamiliar in that place because the dog has a very developed sense of smell so they can identify if something unusual has 
entered their area enter their territory so and because of that they will be able to uh, spot it and then they will start barking so that is also another reason if they are able to spot something unusual in their in their territory they will start barking it can be animal it can be uh, let's say another human it can be a human it can be an animal it can be anything that is unknown to them an unknown smell to them means they will start barking so because they don't want any intervention anybody to come into the area because they think that's theirs this nature is also seen on other animals so it's also there in the dogs so I hope you find your answer from this video. If you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like, comment and subscribe button. I'm uploading two videos every single week, that is on Monday and Friday. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.